In this video, we'll cover how you can benchmark your financials against particular companies or industry averages. For this purpose, we're using the FinViews commercial data stream that is offered standalone or as an add-on to the Actarius platform. FinViews includes all financial reports filed with the SEC, fund holding details, as well as pricing and economic indicators. The data has a few unique qualities. It's taken directly from the filings, it's available as a reported or in a standardized format, and it directly integrates into Excel and Power BI, as well as some add-on premium features like macro data and valuation forecasting. It includes all financial reports since 2009 for all listed entities on the main US stock exchanges, as well as funds details and also offers drill through to the complete underlying report. So let's have a look how it can be integrated with Power BI and Excel. So we we'll see here the typical Power BI dashboard. This works either on the web browser like here or in your mobile phone. So you can see now this is what it looks like on the mobile phone. From here, I can jump now from the overview. So this is an overview, visual, of the performance against the benchmark, I can jump to a detailed report where I can see now how my company is comparing against industries or particular companies or competitors. On the left side, I can see here now how I am comparing against competitors or the industry group based on particular, in this case, cost items because we're using here the income statement, but I could do the same thing for balance sheet or a statement of cash flows. So in this case here, to compare the performance, we're showing the particular cost items as a percentage of revenue. So we can see here our performance in regards to cost of revenue was 8.3% of revenue. So we had cost of 8.3% of revenue. And the benchmark was around 20%. So we are outperforming the the comparison, which is at the moment across all industries, by about 11.8%. Um, We're doing not so well in selling and general expenses, so here the, the benchmark is better, so we are here behind 10.1 percentage point, and then in operating expenses we can see we're also a little bit behind um, compared to the benchmark. But this is not the overall situation. From here we can now take it further and for example look at more specific benchmarks. So we could now for example here um, in this visual where we are showing the top performers and the bottom performers compare the performance more specifically. So we could drill down here now and look at now at the particular players in this space. So for example, we could compare ourselves now to Oracle. So by just clicking on the particular item, as you can see, the report automatically adapts and shows now all the relevant visualizations just in comparison to this competitor. And we, saw in, we see in, in regards to Oracle, we are doing pretty well in comparison to the selling and general expenses. We're also doing pretty well in regards to the operating expenses. This here shows us now the situation over time and if we want to we can immediately jump to the basis of these numbers which is the filed report with the SEC. So this thing is within two minutes after filing the information is available in a format that allows you to do comparisons. So here we see now the actual underlying report where the user can immediately then check what where the numbers filed um, by Oracle and how are we comparing and also get you know, some more information, um, you know, in this case cautionary notes and, and just all the details that are available with this filed report. Very similar functionality is available in Excel. So here we can see an Excel pivot table where now all the fields of the data model and the FinViews data stream are available for the user to just drag and drop the fields into the pivot table as required. And you can see now here the selected concepts and the selected industries or companies that I'm com comparing myself with. And just with pivot table ease, I can change now 
any detail here to the format that I would like to see. So if I want to see, for example, a particular year, I can just select this year and I will see the respective numbers that are automatically updating from the central server. And pretty cool as well, um, the option is also in addition to a pivot table to have a formula report. So as opposed to having a pivot table, um, the users can use formulas that retrieve the value based on the coordinates from the server. And this gives me now total flexibility of defining a report as required. But if I switch here the point of view, all the details will automatically update without me having to maintain spreadsheets. So this was a quick overview of benchmarking with Ectaris and Finnews. For any further questions, please feel free to contact us.